Buenos dias, this is Scott Oliver with WeLoveCostaRica.com today speaking about how to buy Costa Rica real estate without losing your camisa, which of course means shirt. I'm surprising how many people have actually asked me what language that's in, uh, but that's another story. Anyway, we're looking at the website, WeLoveCostaRica.com. Um, as you'll know, if you are a VIP member, which means you've just registered, it's, it's free, there's no credit card required, uh, you can download a lot of things from the download library, which you can see here. When you click on that, you can see the How to Buy Costa Rica Real Estate um, book, you can see lots of other details here, you can see things about car prices, things about tips and traps, uh, uh, loads and loads of stuff, minimum salaries, and there's a lot more on the second page, but that's for another video. Today we want to talk about real estate and the fact that, number one, there is no multiple listing service in Costa Rica, so it is difficult to get a real uh, definitive idea about values. Okay, number two, there is no real um, uh, qualifications or licenses or registration required for realtors, so you do have to be very careful with who you're dealing with. And many people who call themselves realtors, A, are not realtors, and B, aren't actually legally allowed to work in this country. So by all means, ask them for their identification. We're asked for it on a daily basis, so it's nothing unusual. Okay, number three, the legal system here is based on Napoleonic law, and it's not based on common law as it would be in the United States. There are some major differences. So unless you understand those differences, frankly, you're out of your mind trying to buy real estate by yourself. Lastly, of course, this is a Spanish-speaking country, and even if you do speak uh, fluent Spanish, once again, um, it's a different legal system, and I'd be very careful about going it alone. All of the realtors that we feature on WeLoveCostaRica.com, you see here on the left-hand side a section called Costa Rica Realtors. Okay, click on that, and up comes information about lots of different Costa Rica Realtors who I know personally, who... I have met on numerous occasions and who I know and trust. And these are people um, who have given me names of clients and I have personally contacted their clients to get written references. Okay, so it's not like I'm just um, uh, getting information they've sent to me and assuming that that's uh, correct. I personally get references on these people. So whether you're looking for um, property, land, condos or homes in the Papagayo area, which is very popular, very close to Liberia Airport or in Entertainers, uh, other areas near the beach in Guanacaste, San Isidro or Lake Arenal, for example, on the Central Pacific Coast, you've got uh, Sean and Hannah Fletcher, absolutely delightful couple, uh, Rob Goodell, uh, David Hollander and his team down in Dominical. All of these people are known and trusted by me and have been very, very reliable literally for 10 plus years. Okay. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can also see homes for sale. You can see homes and condos and land detailed by price here all the way up to a million dollars plus and I've broken down different real estate sections into different geographical areas Papagayo, uh, Arenal Lake area, Retainers, Dominical etc etc. We do have a section for seller financing it's not particularly common here um, most of the real estate transactions here are in fact cash um, very few uh, foreigners uh, do any kind of financing uh, which has actually been very good for um, keeping prices stable here the Properties of the Week section here is uh, simply uh, every week whatever property we put up goes into the Properties of the, of the Week section. So whatever you see there at the top is going to be the most recent. And of course here under Costa Rica Real Estate videos you'll find all sorts of different videos about real estate. So I hope that helps you. Once again my goal is to make sure that you're buying real estate without getting into trouble. So you're buying real estate from trustworthy people um, who speak English, who are registered, who are legally working here. And uh, so far in the um, nearly 15 years that I've had this website, we've had no problems or no major problems whatsoever. So if you're looking to buy Costa Rica real estate, invest in land or a condo, whether it's for now or, or in the future when you retire, I believe this is a great place to be. This is Scott Oliver with WeLoveCostaRica.com saying hasta luego.